This is a demonstration of Kodak's virtual proofing software, otherwise known as VPS. VPS was developed in order to help digital workflows be able to proof on screen without having to make hard copy proofs. It was developed in the early days of Computer to Plate on a Macintosh platform and now with uh, VPS 3.0, which released in 2005, it's both running on Mac and Windows. But it has a revamped user interface that I'd like to point out. The first thing about VPS is it has to gather a lot of files. These are essentially TIFF files, uh, one for each separation, one for each plate. Um, and it has a capability to browse and um, collect together signatures that have certain uh, metadata information in the file tag to say which job they came from and which separation they are. And when you select that, VPS reviews all the files and groups them together and can indicate which side of the web they are, which front of the surface, uh, the colors, and um, the relationship to each other. So when you open that set of proofs, you can see the entire proof and all the colors and all the separations built into each other. If you zoom in, you can see that uh, while this looks like continuous tone graphics, it's actually half-toned. This was very important in the early days of CDP when people were checking for uh, screen angles and, um, as we'll see, trapping information um, in the virtual proof before they made uh, hard copy proofs. So the standard uh, mechanisms for zooming moving around are available as well as uh, the hand tool for moving things and a shrink to fit option here. The cursor is enabled to uh, uh, both do move and roam as well as zoom using the fast keys or by selecting a cursor. You can check the density of an area by outlining it with the eyedropper tool and see the ink densities in that area. And there's also a measurement tool so that you can see how far distances are. Now this is particularly useful when you're viewing in position. So let's turn in position viewing on and we'll rotate the pages so that they're more or less up and down and zoom up a little so you can uh, say for example check the trim area by just uh, putting the cursor on the trim and pulling across the other one and you can see that the measurement information is updated we see it's a 15 by 20 uh, folder you can turn on various impositions, turn off the page numbers, uh, things like that. So you can see just, for example, the trim and the delete lines, which is very important when you're checking uh, the impositions. Another important aspect of being able to check imposition, really what VPS uh, was developed for and has, has a patent, is for looking at backup. It's very important that uh, things like these uh, marks uh, line up so that you can be sure that the spreads align and that uh, things back up from front to back. So in order to do that, these two opacity sliders are enabled. And they let you basically change the view from whether you're seeing the front of the screen, or uh, front of the work, or the back of the work. Yeah. And if you zoom up on an area here, for example, you can see that these marks on the front and on the back are well aligned. So as you uh, change the opacity from one to the other, you see the front and back are perfectly lined up, which is how you want it for the imposition. As well, uh, with VPS3, we're able to put in uh, variable uh, transparency, which takes advantage of uh, the kind of platform power that's available on laptops now. So if we take this uh, copper color, spot color, and just start to back it off, you can see that uh, you can change its opacity and basically see uh, what it would like look like without that separation or with it and this is particularly useful when you're looking at things like traps where let's see if we can find one here where you want to make sure that the imagery in the spot colors are trapped properly so here's a place where we'd expect that the spot color copper is going to bleed into this image and we'll have a look at it and make sure it does So with the black, it's awfully hard to tell whether that um, uh, chokes into this image or not. But if we turn off the black separation, and then if we um, 
change its opacity. Let's turn off more black here. You can see that this indeed there's a, a few pixel overlap where this uh, spot color PMS chokes into that image in order to make sure that there's no gap in there. So that's the quick introduction to VPS. There's also some nice keyboard accelerators. Uh, it's very common to want to alternate which which separations you see. So let's zoom out here. And so clicking a separation, of course, uh, hides or shows it. Yellow, magenta, and cyan. If you want to turn them all off, you hold a shift key, and that will turn all of them off. And it will also toggle so that uh, here I've turned two off. If I so I can turn them all on, or if I use the option key, then option will toggle to turn all the others on and that one off. So you can flip from one separation to all of them. And it turns out to be a very handy thing to do for separations. So that's a quick, quick introduction, introduction to VPS, virtual proofing software for Macintosh and Windows.